We asked avid road racers for their honest feedback on the track day performance of the new Max's Victra Sport VR2 tire. Here's what they said. Hi, my name is Jonathan Lugod. I'm Aaron Gong. My name is Bill Hinomoto. My name is uh, Eli Mansour. I drive the Shaftworks USA 2023 Subaru BRZ. I drive this 2020 Subaru BRZ. I drive a 2017 BMW M2. I drive a 2003 E46 wagon. Lap time consistency is fairly consistent. Essentially, you can clock lap times within a half second of each other back to back. They didn't seem to really fall off hard towards lap seven through 10. By lap three, I'm getting the peak time. And essentially, you can hold that peak time within a quarter second for the next two laps. Uh, I know it's subjective, but to me, it was impressive. And I would rate it actually as the top Super 200 tire as far as consistent lap after lap. In terms of braking performance, it's very consistent. It's very progressive. I can tell that there's a lot of grip coming into the corner, hitting the brakes. You're able to control without triggering ABS. It doesn't change the braking point as much as other tires. If you had to kind of like swing it or adjust it, it's very predictable and it gives you feedback under braking. Corner performance, probably not as peaky grippy, uh, but I would say on a whole, it's a very well-rounded tire. It's very easy to make an initiation of it and yet it grips really well lateral. Very predictable, very, very crisp. Mid-corner, it gets loose a little bit. You have to kind of modulate it. And at, and at the exit, if I'm completely transparent, the lateral grip in that tire stands above every Super 200 tire that I've driven before. Handling at the limit, it's very communicative. You can give it more steering angle and it will kind of eat it up quite a bit. On breakaway, it's very correctable. There's a larger window compared to other tires I've tried, it'll actually teach you to become a better driver. Kind of gives you that audible feedback as we're coming into the corner. So even if it slides a little bit, it gives you warning at the edge in there and you can control it and keep going. I would say the highlight is really um, how many heat cycles the tire can take. It, it's excellent. While the times stay relatively the same, the feeling does change quite a bit. The tires have about six track days on them, and altogether, I think between 12 to 15 heat cycle. As somebody who is casual track day goer, we like to try and make tires last. The type of driver that would like the VR2 would be your, your track rat. Somebody who's looking for a double duty tire. Uh, street, just regular daily driving was very quiet. So you're able to drive it to and from home, straight to the track, and then drive back on the same tires. It's a tire that inspires wanting to go fast. This could be the next time attack tire.